Good morning, yarn lovers. Welcome to episode 14 of Yarning with Mimi. This is my podcast about knitting, crocheting, and my love of yarn. Thank you for joining me this morning. Happy birthday to me. Um, I took the day off work today so I could uh, just uh, laze around and do a podcast and do more knitting and crocheting and drink wine. Um, also have my diffuser. I don't know if you can see it right over there um, with some nice scents uh, this morning. Okay, uh, introductions. My name is Sherry Ann, also known as Mimi, which is what my grandchildren call me, hence Yarning with Mimi. Um, don't know how they came up with that name, but uh, anyways, I love it and that's what I go by. Uh, except at work, of course, they call me Sherry Ann. But uh, anyways, Yarning with Mimi. Uh, welcome to any new viewers. I've noticed I have a few new subscribers, and I really do appreciate you taking your time to hang out with me. And thank you for returning viewers. Um, I really do appreciate everybody who has hit that subscribe button and uh, want to spend a little bit of time with me as I talk about my love of yarn. Don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm coming to you from South Texas. Um, it's usually pretty hot and uh, sticky down here. Uh, today it's a little overcast and it's nice and cool outside. It's probably in the 50s, maybe 60s, but boy does it ever feel nice. Uh, so I have the back door open so the dogs can come in and out as they please. And I have my studio window open so I'm getting some of that nice cool air in here. Okay, like I said, this is episode 14. Um, I do have a few new subscribers. We have hit the 100 mark, so I would like to have a giveaway. I just need to get something together for that. And when I do, I will um, announce that in a future episode. So uh, keep your ears open for that. You can find me on Instagram as S.A. Wood. I also have a Facebook group, uh, Yarning with Mimi, so hop on over there, and uh, you do have to request to join, but as soon as you do, I'll, uh, I'll accept that request. And then if you should wish to email me, it is yarningwithmimi at gmail.com. So we'd love to hear from you. Okay, I'm going to give you an update on my uh, nonprofit uh, organization, uh, Mimi's Kind Knits. I still am working on hats for the school district. I have 46 ready to deliver. That's uh, 25 elementary age school hats, and I have 21 for the middle school age. Um, they uh, are different in sizes. Um, one's larger than the other for the middle, middle uh, school age children. So I think after I finish this podcast, I will take those bags to the uh, Director of Counseling Services and deliver those today. I'm also working on uh, some preemie hats or hats for the NICU. February month is the American Heart Association's uh, Congenital Heart Defect Awareness Month, and the color is red. I have been asked to uh, make some red hats for NICU. So here are the hats that I'm making, I have 50 some odd hats made already. You can see this one's for the little girl. You can see the little um, ruffle down on the bottom there with the chain stitches or little scalloped edge if you want to call it. These are for the boys where I've done a front post, back post edging uh, for the last round. So these are uh, ready to go. I'll just keep making them until February, so I'm not sure how many I'll get, probably about a hundred, but um, I do have a lady that will come and pick those up and then deliver them to the NICU. Okay, so let's hop on into finished objects. Um, some 
some finished objects I don't have. Uh, they've already been gifted out. And some of those, I'm looking at my list here because I wrote them down. Uh, some of those are a Hat and Fingerless mitt set that I made for a co-worker of mine. Uh, spa cloths and slippers for another co-worker. It was her birthday. Uh, and then I've made several pairs of slippers for various friends uh, per their request for uh, family members. And uh, then I have also made, I have another f uh, a girl that works where I work at the local nursing home. Her birthday is tomorrow, so when I go back to work tomorrow, I'm going to give her a little something. I have a set of... Um, a spa, spa cloth set. It's just two washcloths. This one is the um, grandma's favorite washcloth recipe, or not recipe, um, pattern with the lacy edge you can see. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then this one is a different pattern with a garter stitch edge down both sides and then stocking stitch. So that's her spa set. And then I made her a pair of slippers. These look kind of funky when you see them just like this, but I'm telling you when you put them on your feet, they look super duper cute. So that's another finished object that I had. And then I also have something else, well two something else's, or two other something else. However way you say that. Uh, but I can't show it because it's going to be gifted out. Um, I am participating in um, Llama Mama Kayla's uh, February Happy Meal Swap. So I have something made that I, I can't show because um, it's going to go in that, that little swap. But it, it's just something, a little cute thing. Alrighty, so I do have several whips on the go, uh, works in progress, and uh, one of them is that big uh, king size afghan that I was making there around Christmas time. I still haven't finished it yet, I don't have a whole lot to go, but um, I've sort of been sidetracked working on other things. So <clears throat> that will get done, and it will get gifted. I have shown it to my daughter so she knows it's coming. I'm working on several baby blankets. Uh, right now I've kind of rediscovered the granny square. So this is one um, that I'm making out of Caron one pound. If you can see that Caron one pound. And this colorway is Robin's egg. It's really pretty. And then the other one I'm working on, again, is a granny square. I'm using the Red Heart, uh, I think it's Violet Ombre. And this is one, this is one whole ball of the Violet Ombre. I'm going to break into the second ball. Um, I'd like to make the blanket between 36 and 40 inches square. So, I'm making those for the hospital so I can um, donate them as well. But um, you just never know when you might need a baby blanket for a co-worker who's having a baby. So I'll have a bunch on standby as well. Um, another thing I'm working on. I know a lot of people are working on memory blankets. Well, I'm doing... A scrappy blanket. Um, I have tons and tons of little balls of yarn left over from all the hats that I make and for me to say oh this hat went here and this hat went there you know my hats are going everywhere and slippers going all over the country when I work with the pink slipper project so I'm not calling this a memory blanket. It's my scrappy blanket. And, you know, I've been asked before what's my most favorite project that I've worked on. And I really can't say that I 
have ever had a favorite. It's just really whatever I'm currently working on is my current favorite. Mm -hmm. But I can now say I do have a favorite, and it is the scrappy blanket. Every time I pick a little ball of yarn to work into the next few rows, I just love seeing how the colors match up or don't match up and how it's coming together. But let me give you a look. This is where I started. I'm doing corner to corner. And look at all those colors. And these, these are all leftover yarns that I've had from making other projects. So anyways, I do now have a favorite and that will not be my last uh, scrappy blanket. Everybody wants one. My daughters, all my daughters want one. Uh, Crystal hasn't seen it yet. She lives in Mission, but uh, you know, they'd be good for the kids. Um, this particular one I'm making right now is for my uh, daughter's girlfriend's birthday who, uh, her birthday's in February, but it'll likely be done before then because I've been really uh, adding to that pretty quickly. Okay, so whips. Um, I told you about several baby blankets and I also have several socks on the needles. I showed those in a previous podcast. Um, I am working on them one by one. So I am putting a dent in them and as I finish a pair I will show them on the podcast. So acquisitions. I don't have a whole lot to show you. Um, I uh, have not gone out and bought any yarn because the projects that I'm working on I already have the yarn for those projects. And uh, so I'm working through my stash I guess you could say which I guess might be one of my uh, goals for the year is to really take a good look at what I have on hand and uh, try and go through that before I go out and purchase large quantities of yarn. Now I will be purchasing yarn for the hats because I like to have nice happy colors uh, for the children's hats and then um, the slippers I use two colors so I can just mix and match any two colors. The, the color combinations are endless when it comes to the slippers. But I did enter um, Jane's with Scrap Scraptastic Yarns uh, Cal a while back, the Raglan Cal, and I was chosen as one of the winners of that Cal. And <clears throat> That Caron one pound ball of yarn that I showed you is what I won. Again, this is Robin's egg. It's a beautiful color. And you know what? Sometimes Caron is not the softest yarn, but boy, this is really soft. I don't know if it has anything to do with the type of color or dye that is in this ball, but this is really soft. And I've also heard that when you wash it, it's, it softens up more. And then she also sent one of her bags that she made. Look at this. Isn't that lovely? It's got the handle on the outside and a hair. It buttoned. Look at the inside. She's got her name right there. I don't know if you can see that. Jane Wynn Designs. Inside is a little pocket to put your crochet hook. I don't know. Can you see that right there? And look, it's got the little snaps. Three, oops, didn't get that one. Three little snaps. You can have your yarn coming out. Jane, thank you so much. It's beautiful. It's got the box bottom. It sits up. So I was really surprised and really happy to get that uh, nice little surprise in the mail. My happy mail. Um... I have mentioned that I did, uh, or I am participating in Llama Mama Kayla's February Happy Meal Swap. So I do have my uh, person that I uh, need to send to. It's actually Kayla. So I have to get together a nice little box uh, of goodies uh, to send to her. And I'm kind of excited. Uh, the 
the lady that uh, got me, she has emailed me. And uh, so we've been communicating a little bit. And so I'm really kind of excited to see um, what kind of happy meal I might be getting in the future. So that's a fun little thing. She will be having future Happy Meal swaps throughout the year. So hop on over to Llama Mama Kayla's uh, website, not website, I'm sorry, um, YouTube channel. So you can get the uh, scoop on that. Because although the February one is closed already, the future ones are still open. Okay, so this is the part of the podcast where um, you get to ask me questions. This is Ask Mimi, my last podcast. I am so sorry. I don't know what happened, but I answered questions, and I noticed when I played back um, the recording, it, it stopped. So the last portion of my episode 13 got cut off. So we'll just do those questions over again. So I have a question from Jackie, and she um, asked, I think it's Lubeck, Jackie Lubeck, and she asked, what washcloth pattern do I use? Okay, I, I typically use two, just so that when I give a spa set, I've got two different designs. The first one, I'll show you these again. The first one is Grandma's Favorite Dishcloth, and if you just Google that, type that in, um, it'll come up. And I've modified mine just a little bit at the beginning. And what I do is I cast on three stitches and then I knit one row. Then I increase one, I knit one and increase uh, by knitting into the front and back of the next stitch on the next two rows. And then I start doing the lacy edge. That way you don't have one big hole right there at the very beginning. My holes don't start until the fourth row. And I use a size five uh, millimeter, or I guess that's a US eight uh, needle. And I knit until I have 46 stitches all the way across. And then I start to decrease. So that's the one pattern that I use. The other pattern is just the stocking net pattern. And what I do is I cast on um, 39 stitches and I knit five rows. And then on my sixth row, I knit three, purl to the last three stitches and knit three. So on your edges here on both edges, this edge and this edge here, your, your first three and your last three stitches are always knit. And so you knit on the knit rows, you purl on the purl rows. And then you, I make mine until they're nine inches square. So I knit my stock and knit stitch for another 44 rows is what I've counted up. But depending on your tension and your gauge, uh, I knit until th uh, eight and three quarters inches and then I uh, I mean, I do the stocking net until eight and three quarters inches total uh, from the beginning, and then I do five more rows of uh, plain knit and then cast off. So those are the two patterns that I use for my dishcloth. I might start getting a little more creative and start doing uh, more designs, but I like these because I can whip through them really quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, then Tracy Moore asked me, I mean Moro, I'm very sorry, Tracy Moro, she asked me where do I find patterns for baby set sets. The baby sets that I have shown in the past, um, I, I've used two different patterns that I just repeat them because they work so nicely and they work up super quickly. Go to Mariana's Lazy Daisy Days blog she has all kinds of free baby patterns. You can actually find her on Ravelry and all of her patterns are just, just go to Mariana's Lazy Daisy Days and all her patterns are listed. Um, the little boy sweater that I do, hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, that little, the, 
little one I was telling you about from Mariana's Lazy Daisy Days, I usually do little girl sweaters from there. But for the little boy sweaters, the pattern that I use is this one. And I also make little girls out of this pattern. But this is uh, Mikey with the crochet crowd. Uh, Google him. Or, yeah, I guess Google or go on YouTube. And it's just a simple baby jacket. I think they call it a baby jacket. But he has a YouTube tutorial on how to do that. And you can make it in, in a jiffy. It's super quick. My dog's down here uh, chewing on his tennis ball. Okay. And then Dawn Milnthorpe. Milnthorpe. Uh, she asked me what pattern do I use for the hats. Oh my goodness, I need to get a hat. I'll be right back. Okay, back again. So this is the hat that I think Dawn is talking about. These are the hats that I make for the school district. And it's very simple. And what I will eventually do is um, I'll videotape a, a YouTube, I guess, tutorial on how I do this hat. But typically what I do is I use round needles. And for the brim, this this is a knit two purl two. I I cast on 60 stitches. I use a size um, six millimeter circular needle. I cast on 60 stitches. I do knit two purl two ribbing for eight rows. And then <clears throat> I do another 34 rows of stock and net stitch, just plain knitting because I'm knitting in the round before I decrease. And my decreases are very simple. It, it's got a gathered top. You can see I don't have sections. It's just a gathered top. And um, for my decreases, I knit two together all the way around. By this time I have to change to double point needles. So I knit one row of uh, two together all the way around and then I knit a row. Then my second decrease row is knit two together all the way around and then I knit my last row and then I just cut my yarn and pull it through the remaining remaining stitches. And so that's how I get this hat. Now this is for the elementary age. Uh, elementary school age children. For the middle school age children, I make it a little bigger. I start out with 68 stitches and I do 10 rows of ribbing and then I do 36 more rows of the stocking net stitch and then I decrease the same way. Alrighty, well, I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much for joining me on my birthday. I really had a lot of fun, and I am now going to do a little bit of running around and come back. Um, at noontime, I'll probably crack open my bottle of wine and uh, celebrate my my uh, day all by myself. <laughs> uh, my husband's at work, and uh, my daughter is still sleeping. And um, I'm just home here with, with the animals. But yesterday was a really fun day. Yesterday would have been my mother's uh, 80th birthday, I think. And, um, or 79, can't remember. Anyway, so we sort of celebrated yesterday. My daughter came over and brought potato salad and uh, my other daughter made brisket, and uh, they did some barbecue out in the back. Uh, I made some beans. Cassie made a big pitcher full of margaritas, so I drank margaritas all afternoon. And um, we just had a really good time. She made a cake and decorated it really pretty. Uh, of course, my age 25 was uh, on the cake, so we all know that... Uh, that's not quite accurate, but um, it was just a beautiful uh, cake. And then she also made cake pops, just like the ones that uh, Starbucks sells. She made them and put real pretty icing with like a pearl, 
a pearl candy on the top and was was it ever pretty so anyways uh yeah we celebrated yesterday so today is just a relaxed day for me because i requested today off work just just to be off anyways uh again thank you all for joining me and please uh, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you already haven't. I would really like to build my subscriber base and uh, see if I can eventually hit a thousand. I mean, wouldn't that be pretty awesome? But I guess my next goal is to hit 200. All right. Well, thank you all again. And uh, please uh, show kindness and, and spread the kindness. Bye for now.